Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com. Today we're taking a closer look at installing and of course listening to the Borla Stinger S-Type dual rear exit exhaust system with black chrome tips, available for all 2019 and newer 5.7 liter Hemi Ram 1500s, excluding the classic models. Now you should be checking this out for your truck. If you're looking for an exhaust that's perfect for the daily driver, something to give you a really deep throaty rumble without being too overwhelming at wide open throttle. As you just heard from our sound clips, I'm gonna give it three out of five on our loudness meter definitely beefs up the volume over your factory exhaust, opens up that airflow a lot more, and the less restrictive mufflers here are gonna produce a really rich tone. Now, like I said, it's not overwhelming, especially at wide open throttle, so expect little to no drone inside the cabin, even at highway speeds. That, in my opinion, is a huge telling point in an exhaust system. I don't like an exhaust that makes listening to music or talking to a passenger difficult, so this system here is gonna be the way to go if that's not what you're looking for. So this is made with all 304 stainless steel, so of course it's the highest quality materials in the category. Borla is known for making some of the more premium exhausts out there, and you're not skimping out on that here. It's got really good welds, and the entire system here has mandrel bends to help with a kink-free construction. Less airflow restriction can definitely in turn equal more power, so you can expect a small power bump with this as well. Now it is gonna replace those factory resonators with straight pipes back here at the tailpipes, but you are gonna have that Stinger S-type muffler where your factory muffler used to be. I'm gonna break down all those components and compare them to stock in just a little bit. The black chrome tips here are a little bit stealthier than some of the other options in the category. They do have a nice chrome reflective finish over it too, which I think looks super aggressive. Now this kit's gonna come in right around 1,050 bucks and the install is gonna get two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. You can definitely tackle it yourself in the driveway at home with some simple hand tools. I'm gonna show you every step of the process. Just keep in mind having a couple of jack stands or a pole jack if you're using a lift, as well as a helping hand can definitely go a long way. It'll take you about two to three hours from start to finish. What do you say we get started? Tools used in this install include an impact gun or a ratchet. I also used an air ratchet, but it's not required. 13, 15, and 16 millimeter deep sockets flathead screwdriver, WD-40 and or white lithium grease, and a hanger removal tool is recommended. All right, to kick things off here, what we're gonna do is unbolt our factory muffler portion from the extension pipe that goes into your cat pipes. This guy here does not need to be removed. We're gonna reuse that. So start here where the flange is. Now there's two 16 millimeter bolts holding this together and a gasket in between. It's worth noting here, we also have a pole jack supporting our exhaust at the tailpipe tips just to make sure it's a little bit more steady. Uh, a helping hand goes a long way as well. All right, next up, we're at our passenger side tailpipe clamp, which is right above our rear axle. Let's remove that tailpipe because it is clamped on separately, which will make our lives a lot easier getting the whole system out. I'm switching over to an air ratchet because it's gonna make life a little easier. All right, so next I'm gonna move over to a hanger removal tool. Directly above the muffler behind our passenger side tip, there's a hanger going into an isolator. We have to pop that guy out. Uh, you can unbolt the hanger from the frame up here by the two bolts if you'd like. It's obviously personal preference. I have a hanger removal tool, so I'm just gonna pop the hanger out of the isolator here. It also helps to lube it up with WD-40. With that out of the way and our clamp loosened, we can remove this tailpipe. Now our driver's side tip is also clamped on separately. Now you also don't have to remove this, but I do think it'll make life easier. It removes about 10 inches or so of pipe that we won't have to finesse around the rear axle. So if we get this off, it may make our lives easier. So now we can just loosen up that clamp and remove the tip. All right, looking at the same area, we're just gonna go right up above it and remove that hanger from the isolator using our hanger removal tool. All right, so for this next one, I should preface by saying I have a pole jack supporting our driver's side tailpipe just to you know, hold the weight up there. Above our muffler, you'll see two hangers, one on both sides. I have those lubricated with WD-40. I'm gonna use my hanger removal tool to pop these guys out of position.
All right, the next step here, we're gonna remove that flange hanger from the isolator on the frame here. Now I got my buddy Jared at the tailpipe tips to help me get things set up. I'm also going to disconnect this ground strap, which you can just pop right off as you just saw, it's pretty simple. That hooks around to connect the frame to the exhaust. I got my hanger tool, I'm gonna to pop this out of position. So we got our factory exhaust off of our new model 19 Ram on the ground next to our Borlet Stinger S-Type. I wanna take you through some similarities and differences between the two kits, and I wanna start up front here. There's honestly quite a few to mention. Starting up front, there's three inch inlets on both systems. Your new system here is made from a 304 stainless steel, however, your factory system is a little more prone to rust and corrosion. Now our vehicle only has like 800 miles on it, and as you can see, there's some pretty significant surface rust all around the system, so having that 304 is gonna go a long way. The three inch inlet then goes into your muffler. The factory muffler is much larger, much rounder as well. It's a lot more restrictive. It's gonna muffle a lot of those tones that you'd probably wanna hear from your Hemi. You wanna hear it roar and that's not gonna happen here. The Stinger S-Type muffler from Borla here is their Sport in their lineup. The Sport exhaust here gives you that deep rumble that you heard in our sound clip, but allows for some of the more aggressive tones at things like wide open throttle. So that's what you're getting with your Stinger there. Now the Attack is one of the louder mufflers and the Touring is a little bit more mellow, so having that middle of the road makes for a really good daily driver. Now, a big difference here is your factory system for the outlet has a Y-pipe, a single outlet Y-pipe. Your new Borla kit has a true dual outlet. Your Y-pipe is three inch, your new dual outlet is two and a half inch on both tubings. Now, while it does have a smaller diameter outlet than your Y-pipe, it's not gonna step down to a two and a quarter. So the three inch goes to two and a quarter. These two and a half inches stay true all the way to the tips. Having the true dual is gonna be way less restrictive than that single Y pipe. The exhaust gases from the muffler have to condense into one single pipe and then split out. From the muffler here, it just true duals right through the exhaust. So that's gonna open up some of the airflow, producing a little bit more power. The less restriction that you have in your exhaust gases, the more it can produce. Moving on, still manual bends, less kinked than your factory exhaust, allowing for a smoother airflow. And then finally, you'll see that there are no resonators by your tailpipe tips. The resonators here are also gonna muffle some of that sound, and it's also going to restrict some of the airflow, so same thing goes. Your tips are also gonna be a huge difference. Factory tips here are four inches, your new Borla's are five inches each, which is massive. It's gonna look super aggressive at the rear end of our Ram, especially on this red color, I think it's gonna look really sharp. We have black chrome tips, which is a nice polished finish, a nice mirror-like shine on a black tip. Now the black tips, I think, add a nice stealthy appearance as well, but the chrome makes it stand out a little more. Now it's of course personal preference. There's a lot of tip options in the category. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the Borla tips from the black chrome series. For the install, we wanna start with our muffler assembly from Borla, which is gonna be a little easier to install because it's not all one piece going down your driver's side tailpipe. So let's start there. I've got our muffler assembly from Borla ready to go. I used white lithium on the hanger isolators and the hangers themselves. I think that makes life a little easier. You can also use PB Blaster or WD-40, just something to grease them up. So now we're gonna feed this guy over. I'm gonna use a pole jack to help prop that guy up. And I'm gonna feed the hanger into the isolator. All right, next step, you're gonna grab your factory gasket. This can be just removed from the factory exhaust. It just pops off these little tabs here. So we're gonna slide this guy in and clip it onto the new Borla kit on the muffler side. All right, so it hugs right in there. It has pre-cut holes already for the slots. And now we can bolt these two pipes together. All right, so I'm just gonna lift this up and align those two pipes using the factory bolts. I'll bolt it down by hand first. Using a 16 millimeter deep socket, you can tighten them down. Now, if you remember, the factory hanger here does have this uh, ground strap, so we're just gonna hook that back onto our new exhaust hanger. So if you haven't done so already, take your S-shaped pipe. This is just a shorter pipe included in the kit. That's gonna go onto the driver's side of the muffler outlet. Just wanna make sure that's seated. We're gonna pull our clamp into position and just get it nice and snug. We're not gonna get it too tight. We wanna leave room for adjustment. All right, so rotate the clamp upward, grab your 15 deep socket and tighten this down. And again, just nice and snug. All right, next we've got our driver's side tailpipe. We're gonna put a hanger over the inlet and we're gonna connect it to that pipe we just installed. 
All right, with that inserted all the way in, we're gonna get this guy lined up with the hanger. So now we can rotate that clamp into position and snug that up. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our passenger side tailpipe. Make sure you have a clamp on there first. We're gonna rotate this into position around the spare tire, connect it to the piping, and then to our hanger. All right, so what you just saw was me use a flathead screwdriver to just manipulate that isolator a little bit to get it in position. All right, next up, put your clamp in position and tighten it down with your 15 millimeter socket. At this point, you can go back, make any adjustments you need to, align your tips into the cutouts on the rear valence, tighten down your clamps, and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Borla Stinger S-Type Dual Rear Exit Exhaust with black chrome tips. It's available for all 19 and newer 5.7 Ram 1500s, excluding classic models. If you're looking for something to increase some volume without being too overwhelming, this is a great way to go. Pick it up right here at americantrucks.com.